Buckle up, Voyagers. We're going back to the other side. Remember the first ship? Well, we headed back for round two. The second ship happened on March 25th, and Voyagers had the opportunity to play around with some of the latest experiments in other side. There are new environments to explore, some updated mechanics to test out, and a few fun surprises along the way. Continue watching to learn more. First, what exactly is Other Side? Well, Other Side is a gamified interoperable metaverse currently under development, and other deed holders or Voyagers have the opportunity to attend the second trip. Voyagers can claim one guest pass. Prior to the trip, Voyagers can claim a unique code that is generated for you to share with your guest. We start off the experience in the lobby area called Infinity Space, and after a short time of getting to know our controls, we received a transmission from the Infinity Jumbotron from Curtis and Blue the Coda. Welcome to Second Trip! He lets us know that there was an electromagnetic pulse type of event that occurred in the swamp, which resulted in the teleportal to close. But according to Blue, with a little bit of elbow grease, some help from a few toad friends, and a lot of magic blobs, we can reopen the portal. We were then randomly divided into four teams, Lester, which represented yellow, crimson for red, Belden, green, and finally my team, glacial blue. Each team had a captain who provided guidance and advice on the objective. The captains were Jimmy Wong, Bryson, Low Belly, and Snoop Dogg Jr., Champ. Suddenly, the floor opened up and we all jumped into the wormhole that transported us to the perimeter. Curtis and Blue were at the Coda Temple Pyramid at the center of the swamp. They needed everybody to get to the temple, and to do that, we needed to find a way through the temple gateway, which was currently blocked. To unblock the gateway, we needed to collect as many magic blobs and get close to the toads so they can automatically ingest any magic blobs we were carrying. The toads would then shoot the temple gateway open with their magic blob blast projectiles. We made our way down the slide and started collecting the yellow magic blobs. Larger blobs are special ones that gave you extra points. There was a scoreboard on your right where you can see your score, your team score, and how many magic blobs you're carrying. You can carry 35 at a time. For this, consistency was key. I avoided any blobs that were far away or difficult to get to, and although I could carry 35, once I reached around 30, I started making my way back to avoid getting stuck far from the toads. Although Curtis had let us know that the toads were satisfied and we could go through the gateway, I kind of stuck around collecting more blobs to keep our lead up. And after a short time, we were then forcibly pushed through the gateway, which transported us to the Coda Temple. Here, we had the same task, but with a bit of a more complex map. Each team had three toad platforms. The toads needed magic blobs to fire their blob blast projectiles. The middle toad would blast the teleportal's force field, and the other two outer toads would blast the opposing team's platforms. So we got a little friendly PvP TVT situation going on to try to throw them off their game with the side toads, but beating the main toad in order to break the force field is what we're all there for. Once again, we went down the sides and at the bottom these portals launched us as we made our way to the top. I think the biggest thing here is to not fall down and find the hardest way back to the top. You should be finding a clean line to get back to drop off the blobs as fast as possible and not get caught wasting any time. All of a sudden, meteors started coming down and eventually the force field cracked and the teleportal was opened. Yes, let's go team! Oh my god. It's working! It's working! Oh, the force field is destroyed. The... Whoa. We entered the teleportal and ended up in a vast, sandy map called Boneland. We gathered around and Curtis announced that the players on the winning team, Glacia, received these winged helmets as a prize. Team Glacia won and now they get some sick helmets to wear on their heads. Then we all followed Curtis for a little tour of Boneland. All of a sudden, this happened. Oh god! all died during the second trip. Just kidding. We all ended up back in the infinity space and that was the end. After leaving us with that crazy cliffhanger, I just can't wait to see what's in store for other side. That's all for now. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful in any way, 
please drop a like and subscribe. Also, feel free to comment below what are your thoughts about the second ship. Thank you again for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. GM and GN. Bye.